Business Calculus, Topic 1.2, Problem Number 2. We're given a demand function, um, which can be written as a Q or D, which is negative 2 times the price plus 320. We want to find the price that maximizes the revenue, and we want to find the maximum revenue. Well, to find the price that maximizes the revenue, we must have the revenue function. The revenue function is all based on price, and it's price times the demand function. Well, price, P represents price, and the demand function is represented by negative 2P plus 320. When I distribute this, I'm going to get revenue equals negative 2P squared plus 320P. This revenue function is a quadratic with a negative leading coefficient, which means that the graph of this uh, will be concave down and will have a max. And the max will occur at the price, or should I say P. Now, the formula that will find this for us is the axis of symmetry formula, which is the opposite of B divided by 2 times A. Now, the opposite of B which is B is here, will be negative 320. 2 times A, A represents um, negative 2, so this will be 2 times negative 2. And so this will be negative 320 divided by a negative 4, which is 80, or should I say $80. So $80 would actually maximize um, the revenue. Now, next question is, we want to find the uh, maximum revenue itself. So we'll go back to the revenue function and we'll put in $80 for the price. So this will be negative 2 times 80 squared plus 320 times 80. Okay, 80 times 80 will be um, 6400 times negative 2 and we'll get a negative 12,800 and 320 times 80 gives us 25,600 and when we add these two we're going to get 12,800 dollars so this is our maximum revenue given that the price will be 80 dollars Next, we have 50 homes that sold for $190,000. Um, 70 homes will sell for, for $170,000. So the question is, we want to find the price that will maximize the revenue, and we want to find the maximum revenue as well. Now, to find the maximum revenue, we're going to need to find the demand function. The demand function itself is made out of inputting price and outputting items. So we're going to set this up as a point to find the demand function. A price of $190,000 gives us 50 homes, but a price tag of $170,000 will actually sell for us 70 homes. Okay, so this is the, these are our points. So the slope will be made from y1, which is 50 minus 70, um, sorry, y2 minus y1, and then x2, which is the 190000 minus the x which is 170000. Okay, these are the slopes. Rise over run. The rise comes from the y's. The run comes from the x's. Okay, this will end up being negative 20, and this will end up being 20 with, let's see, three more zeros. All right, so that gives me a slope of negative 1, cancel out the zeros there, over 1,000. Okay, so there's my slope. Alright, now uh, we're going to 
use the point slope formula to finish getting our linear equation, which will be our demand function. So let's put in a point. So the opposite of y will be negative 50. The slope will be negative 1 over 1,000. And the opposite of x will be 190,000. OK. Distributing the negative 1 over 1,000 gives us negative 1 over 1,000 x. The two negatives here gives us positive, And the three zeros cancels out three zeros there, and we end up with 190. Adding 50 to both sides gives us y equals negative 1 over 1,000 x plus, let's see here, 240. All right, so this actually represents a demand function. So I can rewrite this as demand function based on price is equal to one oh, negative 1 over 1,000 times price plus 240. Well, I can go from the demand function to the revenue function based on price by multiplying this by p. So this would be negative 1 over 1,000 um, p squared plus 240p. Okay. And now finally, to find the price that maximizes revenue, I'm going to use the formula that gives us the axis of symmetry, which is opposite of b all over 2a. The opposite of b is negative 240. Then there's the 2, and a is negative 1 over 1,000. All right, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to reduce the 2 and the 240, which gives me negative 120. And then I'm going to take the reciprocal of the 1 over 1,000 here. Oh, sorry, I have two negatives. That will give us positive. And the reciprocal of the 1,000, which will be 1,000. So I end up with price equals 120, and then with three more zeros. So. This is the price that will maximize the houses. Okay, so we had some houses selling for 190,000, 170,000, but here this says that if we sell them for 120,000, we will maximize our revenue. Now, what is the maximum revenue that we should expect? Let's use the revenue function and put in this number. It's a massive number. Um, let's see, negative 1 over 1,000, and the price is 1, 2, 0, 0, 0, 0, squared, plus 2, 4, and then 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Oh, some, some large numbers here. Okay, so my revenue. Um, when I square this, I'll get 12 times 12, which is 144. And we have a negative here. I have four zeros now, but when I square, I have eight zeros. But three of those zeros will cancel here, so I'll end up with five zeros. One, two, three, four, five. Over here, I'll have 24 times 12. Well, 24 is actually 2 times 12, and 12 times 12 is 144. If I double 144, I'll get 288. And I have four zeros over here, one zero over there makes five zeros. So one, two, three, four, five. So when I add these two, I end up with one, four, four, and five zeros. One, two, three, four, five. So my revenue should be about fourteen million four hundred dollars, given that we're selling these houses at one hundred and twenty thousand dollars a piece.